Hi, Kendall. Hey, how you doing? Okay, we will start things off with Connor, Connor Riley and go to Anthony Dasher. Hey, Kendall, with all the sort of injuries that you guys have on offense right now, how confident are you guys in this running game to sort of play to a, a level of caliber where you can beat a team like Clemson? Um, I feel like uh, with the, the type of school that we go to, it's a school that has a lot of talent. So um, everybody, you know, we work for moments. Uh, everybody works to get their chance. And uh, we're super excited for the season, you know, playing what we have. And everybody's just excited with the talent that we have on the field, just excited to attack the opportunity. Hey, Kendall, good to see you. Uh, what's the conversation like in the in the running back room when it comes to producing more explosive plays in the run game? I know Coach Monk was speaking about that the other day. You said that's definitely something you guys are really focused on trying to do. Uh, you know, every day in practice, just little things in practice, just trying to get down the vision, getting the run reads and everything like that. Um, just letting the cards kind of play themselves out. Everybody, you know, we're a running back room that has a lot of talent. Everybody is super talented in different aspects. So, um, we're kind of just using our talents to our advantages and, you know, playing out there to make big plays. Next, we'll go to Mark Weiser and then Steve Hummer. Kendall, I don't know how much of a film guy you are before, you know, you guys really dive in heavy into Clemson, but, you know, it's curious what your impressions are, what you're going to be facing, you know, particularly up front when they're front seven. Uh, you know, they're definitely a great defensive team. Um, they have a lot of weapons and a, a lot of players that we're looking out for. But um, practicing against our de uh, our defense, the D-line, the linebacker core, um, is best in the country type of defense. So I feel like, you know, we're – as a running back room, as a running back group, you know, is preparing us very good because going against the D-line that we go against every day kind of already pre uh, prepares you for the game type atmosphere. Yeah, Kendall, Georgia being Georgia, there's a certain reputation for running backs there. When you when you look around the, the room now, uh, what specifically do you see in this group that that leads you to believe that, you know, that you all are going to keep up with that tradition? Um, to be honest, it's just crazy that uh, we have this many talented backs um, on one roster. You look around the room and everybody has that, you know, big time running back type of potential. And like I said before, everybody has different tools and different ways that they can um, contribute to the game. So it's just about, you know, everybody get once everybody gets the opportunity, just got to strike. And I feel like um, this running back group, it's, it's something special. And, you know, just having everybody in one in one group is something that you don't see a lot. Thanks. OK, we'll go to Chip Towers and then Palmer Tones. Yeah, you probably, uh, Kendall, have the best perspective on this of anybody. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about all the shuffling around and everything that's had to go on on the offensive line. What have you seen from that group? And in particular, I'm pretty fascinated with Cedric, you know, who's having to jump in there at center and take a lot of reps with, with Warren's situation. How, how are they looking up front? Uh, you know, our all line, they're, they're great. Um, one thing Coach uh, Smart has been saying ever since I got here is just keep that next man up mentality. You never know when it's going to be your time on the field. You never know. Um, once your number is going to get called, just uh, be ready to, you know, um, live up to the opportunity. And I feel like our line, they've done way more than that. They've shown every day the, the type of season we're going to have just by their performance and practice. And I'm excited just seeing the way they're performing, the way they're working hard every day, the, the way they're being so technical about the little things. It, you know, it just makes me as a running back excited to, you know, work for them. Kendall, I know we talked to you in the spring um, but in, in terms of, you know, between then and the summer, where have you tried to improve your game the most from year one to year two? Uh, I would just say, you know, just uh, just getting down to the little things in the run reads, just seeing the little things in the hole. And uh, Coach McGee, he's been more than helpful with that uh, in practice in the film room. He's done um, a lot to be able to help me in the little areas to improve my game. And, you know, I'm very thankful for that. We'll go to Mike Griffith and then Davis Baker. Uh, yeah, Kendall, what did you get out of last Saturday's scrimmage? Uh, it just showed me how talented of a team we have, how many weapons we have. Uh, just seeing everybody on the field is kind of a uh, between the offense and the defense side of the ball. It's um, it's crazy how much competition there is in, in that whole practice type atmosphere because you know it was the best of best on both sides. So uh, it just shows how much talent we have on both sides and. Um, 
you know, the potential we have as a team and seeing that scrimmage, it just made me, you know, 10 times more excited to get on that field and, you know, really get into action. Hey, Kendall, my uh, question is similar to Palmer's, but I was just wondering, do you think that there's a part of your game that's overlooked a little bit? And if so, how have you worked on that during this period? Um, I try not to be a, uh, a person that kind of, you know, looks, looks at it that type of way. I just kind of, you know, one of those put my head down and work type of people. So, you know, everything I can do, all the, the training and uh, practices, film room and everything that goes into the game, I try to do that as best as I can and, you know, just prepare for the big moments. You know, that's what I try to work for. Okay, we have time for a few more questions for Kendall. We'll open it up. Hey, Kendall, uh, Jake Roos here. I just wanted to ask you about, um, you know, some injuries at uh, the wide receiver position. Uh, you know, how crucial do you think the running back position is going to be when it comes to the receiving game uh, and uh, the, the success that it can have this, this season? Um, like I said before, we're a team that has, you know, uh, limitless talent across the roster. So um, I feel like our game in terms of our offense will be good, you know, whatever happens, just because of everybody has that next man, that mentality, everybody works hard every day. Uh, every, everybody goes out there and practice and makes big plays. So I feel like, I, I don't feel like um, one side will have to do more than the other. I feel like uh, that whole next man up type of thing, I feel like that'll play itself out. Hey, Kendall, I don't know if we asked you about this back in the spring, but why the number change this year? Um, throughout high school, I was always number two. And, you know, I came into Georgia and, uh, as a freshman, number two wasn't open, so I went with the next thing I could find towards number two, which was 22. But right when the opportunity, you know, presented itself, I wanted to, you know, kick it back to the old school type of thing and just get back in that, too. That was originally what I wanted when I got here. But, you know, I'm glad to be back in it now. Kendall, what's been your impressions of uh, Brock, ba Brock Bowers as uh, the season gets closer? Uh, he, he's a freak. Uh just seeing him when he first got in here, uh, he's probably about like six three, six three and a half, just like fully built. And he's one of those dudes that just, you know, he can really do it all. Uh, he has a crazy explosion. He's uh, crazy fast, uh, super strong. And, you know, the potential he has, uh, it just makes me excited, especially being from Cali like me. And um, just seeing him in a program like this, I feel like Brock, you know, he, he he's going to make a big impact on Georgia. So I'm, I'm very excited to see his game and, uh, see him continue to get better every day. Hey, Kendall, what have you noticed, um, I guess, in year two of JT as far as any differences in his, his presence and in the way the, uh, the offense is functioning? Oh, yeah, I just see JT, he just gets more comfortable in the pocket uh, the more and more I, that I see him. Um, like I said before, going against our defense every day, um, that D-line, you know, hey, they try to get after the quarterback and just seeing his pocket presence, just seeing how calm he is in the pocket. It just allows him to, you know, let his uh, run reads digest and everything. And uh, I feel like he, he's going to, you know, he's going to have a big season. And I'm excited to see JT work. Uh, another Cali boy, like I said, in the SEC. So just excited to see, to see him work. Thanks. We have time for two more questions for Kendall. Kendall, what was your reaction when you heard about both James and Zamir coming back? Uh, obviously, that was back in January, but, you know, it had, pertains to, you know, what's coming up now. Um, it just made me, because, you know, I'm a person that I, I look at everything from the bigger picture type of thing. And, um, you know, going, me, myself, I have uh, dreams of going to the NFL. So, you know, I, I look at just more time to prepare myself for, you know, my time and everything that comes with it. Um, it's good being able to have, you know, a type of mentors like uh, James and Samir that have been here through the system, have um, experienced a lot of things and just kind of pick their brains, you know, through film and just watching them in practice and everything like that. And um, I look at it as, you know, a blessing because, um, like I said, being in a room with all that talent, you learn new things every day. You learn new ways to improve your game that you probably wouldn't um, that you probably wouldn't find out if, you know, if you're the only back type of thing. So. I look at it as like a blessing. Last question. 